Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is SSCCGL Tier 1 2013 Exam Paper Question Number 1 Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development 2012 was awarded to Option A Sunita Williams Option B Chanda Kochar Option C Ellen Johnson Sirleaf Option D Teresa Pajksova The correct answer is Option C Ellen Johnson Sirleaf Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace Disarmament and Development conferred on Johnson Sirleaf Sirleaf was conferred with the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace Disarmament and Development 2012 Question number 2 In dicots the pollen grains possess Option A. 2 germ pause. Option B. 3 germ pause. Option C. 4 germ pause. Option D. 1 germ pore. The correct answer is. Option B. 3 germ pause. Pollen grains of monocots have one opening, while pollen grains of dicots have three openings. Pollen grains can be monocolpate, having one germ pore called germinal furrow, for example. Monocots, bicolpate, two jump pause, and tricolpate, three jump pause. For example, dicots. Question number three. Acceptable noise pollution level in India range between. Option A. 16 to 35 dec. Option B. 40 to 45 dec. Option C. 70 to 100 dec. Option D. 10, 15 December. The correct answer is Option B 40 to 45 dec Acceptable noise pollution level in India range between colon 40 to 45 December Question number 4 Externality theory is the basic theory of the following branch of economics Option A Environomics Option B Fiscal economics Option C International economics Option D Macroeconomics. The correct answer is Option A. Environomics. Environmental pollution is a classic case of an externality. Externality theory forms the basic theory of environmental economics. Question number 5. Multipurpose river valley projects are the new temples of modern India. The above statement is made by Option A. Moti Lala Nehru. Option B. Mahatma Gandhi Option C Rajiv Gandhi Option D Jawaharlal Nehru The correct answer is Option D Jawaharlal Nehru Multipurpose River Valley projects are the new temples of modern India The above statement is made by Jawaharlal Nehru Question number 6 What type of information system would be recognized by digital circuits Option A Binary system. Option B. Both hexadecimal and binary system. Option C. Only Roman system. Option D. Hexadecimal system. The correct answer is. Option A. Binary system. Digital circuits represent signals by discrete bands of analog levels rather than by a continuous range. Because the fundamental information element of digital circuits has two states. It is most naturally represented by a number system where each individual digit has two states. Binary. Question number 7. Who was not a politician? Option A. I. K. Gujral. Option B. S. L. Bahuguna. Option C. J. J. Lalita. Option D. H. N. Bahuguna. The correct answer is. Option B. S. L. Bahuguna. Sundar Lal Bahuguna is a noted Garhwali environmentalist and Chipko movement leader. The idea of the Chipko movement was of his wife and the action was taken by him. Question number 8. Who gave the title of Mahamana to Madan Mohan Malviya? Option A. Dada Bhai Norozi. Option B. Gopal Krishna Gokhale. Option C. Mahatma Gandhi. Option D. Bal Gangadhar Tilak. The correct answer is Option C. Mahatma Gandhi.
the Mahamana title was conferred to Madan Mohan Malviya by Mahatma Gandhi. He was a moderate leader. Question number 9. First Hindu American to enter in the U.S. House of Representatives as Senator is Option A. Sunita Williams Option B. Jyoti Sen Gupta Option C. Ami Hera Option D. Tulsi Gabbard The correct answer is Option D. Tulsi Gabbard As of 2020, four practicing Hindus have ever been elected to Congress the first being Tulsi Gabbard in 2013. Question number 10. Who was the Viceroy at the time of the Quit India Movement? Option A. Lord Mountbatten. Option B. Lord Wavell. Option C. Lord Linlithgow. Option D. Lord Irwin. The correct answer is. Option C. Lord Linlithgow. It all started in the year 1939 when the British Governor-General of India, Lord Linlithgow, brought India into the Second World War without its consultation. Question number 11. Expand the term IPCC. Option A. International Panel of Climate Control. Option B. Interim Panel of Climate Change. Option C. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Option D. International Pollution Control Council. The correct answer is Option C. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, is the United Nations body for assessing the science related to climate change. Question number 12. Who described the Government of India Act, 1935 as a new charter of bondage? Option A. Mahatma Gandhi Option B. Rajendra Prasad. Option C. P.T. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option D. B.R. Ambedkar. The correct answer is. Option C. P.T. Jawaharlal Nehru. At the Fezpur session of the Congress in December 1936, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, in his presidential address, referred to the Government of India Act 1935 as the new charter of bondage which was being imposed upon them despite complete rejection. Question number 13. And a sulfur spray on cashew crop resulted in pollution to the tune of tragedy in Option A. Kerala Option B. Andhra Pradesh Option C. Karnataka Option D. Tamil Nadu The correct answer is Option A. Kerala. Kasargod, a northern district of Kerala, has recently been ill famous for endosulfan spray on cashew crop. The spray of this banned chemical was reported to have led to congenital abnormalities, mental retardness, and cancer in the local population. Question number 14. Functional finance is associated with Option A. Adolf Warner. Option B. Adam Smith. Option C. Adams. Option D. Abba P. Lerner. The correct answer is. Option D. Abba P. Lerner. Functional finance is a heterodox macroeconomic theory developed by Abba Lerner during World War II that seeks to eliminate economic insecurity, the business cycle, through government intervention in the economy. Functional finance emphasizes the result of interventionist policies on the economy. Question number 15. Farad is the unit of Option A. Capacitance. Option B. Inductance. Option C. Resistance. Option D. Conductance. The correct answer is Option A. Capacitance. Capacitance is the ability of a body to hold an electrical charge. In numerical terms, it is the ratio of the amount of electric charge stored on a conductor to a difference in electric potential. There are two closely related notions of capacitance, self-capacitance and mutual capacitance. Question number 16. Which of the following is an impact printer? Option A. Inkjet printer. Option B. Bubble jet printer. Option C. Laser printer. Option D. Daisy wheel printer. The correct answer is Option D. Daisy Wheel Printer.
Impact printer refers to a class of printers that work by banging a head or needle against an ink ribbon to make a mark on the paper. This includes dot matrix printers, daisy wheel printers, etc. In contrast, laser and inkjet printers are non impact printers. Question number 17. The percentage of nitrogen present in ammonium sulfate is Option A 27%, Option B 25%, Option C 30.5%, Option D 18%. The correct answer is Option A 27%. Ammonium sulfate NH42SO4 contains 21% nitrogen as ammonium cations and 24% sulfur as sulfate anions. It is an inorganic salt that is most commonly used as a soil fertilizer. Question number 18. Identify the odd term amongst the following group. Option A. Optical fiber. Option B. Twisted pair wire. Option C. Microwaves. Option D. Coaxial cable. The correct answer is Option C. Microwaves. A microwave is a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths ranging from about 1 meter to 1 millimeter, with frequencies between 300 megahertz, 1 meter, and 300 gigahertz, 1 millimeter. Different sources define different frequency ranges as microwaves. The above broad definition includes both UHF and EHF, millimeter wave, bands. Question number 19. Who was the other Congress leader who joined with Motilal Nehru to start the Swaraj Party in 1923? Option A. B.G. Tilak. Option B. Chittaranjan Das. Option C. M.K. Gandhi. Option D. G.K. Gokhale. The correct answer is. Option B. Chittaranjan Das. In December 1922, Chittaranjan Das, Narsimha Chintaman Kelkar and Motilal Nehru formed the Congress Khilafat Swarajaya party with Das as the president and Nehru as one of the secretaries. Question number 20. Who of the following enjoys the rank of cabinet minister in union cabinet? Option A. Judge of Supreme Court. Option B. Secretary to Government of India. Option C. Political Advisor to PM. Option D. Deputy Chairman of Planning Commission. The correct answer is. Option D. Deputy Chairman of Planning Commission. The Prime Minister of India is the ex officio chairman of the Planning Commission. The Deputy Chairman is appointed by the Cabinet who enjoys the rank of the Cabinet Minister. Question number 21. Aung San Suu Kyi is a native to Option A. China Option B. Myanmar Option C. Arunachal Pradesh Option D. Tibet The correct answer is Option B. Myanmar The youngest daughter of Aung San, father of the nation of modern-day Myanmar, and Khin Chi, Aung San Suu Kyi was born in Rangoon, British Burma. After graduating from the University of Delhi in 1964 and the University of Oxford in 1968, she worked at the United Nations for three years. Question number 22. DPT vaccine is administered to prevent diseases like Option A. Diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus. Option B. Dengue, pertussis, and typhoid. Option C. Dengue polio, and tetanus. Option D. Diphtheria, pertussis, and typhoid. The correct answer is. Option A. Diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus. DPT vaccine protects children and adults against diphtheria, D. Pertussis, P. Also known as whooping cough, and tetanus, T. DPT vaccine is given as a number of injections to infants and young children. Question number 23. The Wise Prize 2012, also known as the Nobel Prize for Education was conferred by the Wise Summit in Doha on Option A. Dr. Madhav Chavhan. Option B. Dr. Yashpal. Option C. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. Option D. Dr. A. P. J. A. Abdul Kalam. 
The correct answer is Option A. Dr. Madhav Chavhan. The Wise Prize 2012, also known as the Nobel Prize for Education was conferred by the Wise Summit in Doha on Dr. Madhav Chavhan. Question number 24. Diamonds are priced higher than water because Option A. They are sold by selected firms with monopolistic powers. Option B. Their marginal utility to buyers is higher than that of water. Option C. Their total utility to buyers is higher than that of water. Option D. Consumers do not buy them at lower prices. The correct answer is Option B. Their marginal utility to buyers is higher than that of water. Diamond Water Paradox Marginal Utility versus Total Utility Subjective value can show diamonds are more expensive than water because people subjectively value them more highly. However, it still cannot explain why diamonds should be valued more highly than an essential good such as water. Question number 25. Ethanol containing 5% water is known as Option A. Dilute alcohol. Option B. Power alcohol. Option C. Rectified spirit. Option D. Absolute alcohol. The correct answer is Option C. Rectified spirit. Rectified spirit. It is also called neutral spirits, rectified alcohol, or ethyl alcohol of agricultural origin. It is highly concentrated ethanol purified by repeated distillation, rectification. It contains 5% water. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.